when I was born, we lived in an old log house on the mountain up there called the Fred Moody Mountain. Made out of little old poles about that big, best I can remember. Well, Daddy sold that, and he moved on down the road there a couple of miles, right on the side of the road. He, he took this old horse he had, this old mare horse, and he pulled logs off that mountain, took them to the sawmill, had them sawed, and built that house just like this now. Well, he's got logs in here. No, made out of nothing but chestnut lumber. Chestnut. Well, he built the old house, and all he had in it when I was the best I can remember was black tar paper on the inside of the house. You could see the wind blowing that tar paper puff up and they go back down. Puff up and they go back down. And all they had to heat the old house with was a fireplace and it wasn't worth a shit. Well, along come electricity. Got it in about 1950. Four or fifty-five, I think it was. Somewhere right there. I won't miss it much. Fifty-four, fifty-five, I had electricity. I remember this old man coming there. He's driving a big old long base Chevrolet truck. And he was the one that wired your house. See, nowadays you have to have all these codes and stuff and all that. Back then, he'd just run a wire up and staple it to the goddamn wall, and that's it. And back then, them old wires, they run through houses that didn't have nothing on but, like, cloth shit wrapped around them, like a tow sack. Now they got plastic wrapped around them, and rats can't chew them. But I remember that old man, he was a big old man. He'd come in there and he'd sit and fool that damn shit 30 minutes and then he'd go by and put in another socket. See, nowadays a house has got to have sockets every six feet apart or something like that before they'll pass the inspection. Back then you put one here and one in yonder and that's it. Well, we got electricity in 54, 55, I can't remember which. Mom and Daddy saved up enough money somehow, I don't know how they did. Get a refrigerator. Oh, I thought that was something by God. But the first refrigerator I ever seen was before that. My aunt, Annie and Uncle D down the road wouldn't learn me how to drive a model. They got the first refrigerator I guess, I guess ever come up in that country. It took two or three men to carry it in the house. It was more heavy son of bitches. Now they don't weigh nothing. But anyway, they they carried that thing there and said that. And back then, they were, this guy called the Wadkin Man, he run up through there every month and he sold salve and rosebud salve and flavor and make cakes with and. And then he sold this stuff we call a beverage base. My Aunt Annie bought a bottle of that shit, and here come that refrigerator. She took them ice trays out there. They used to have a handle on them. You pull them like that, and it makes the ice break. Nowadays, you squeeze them, and it breaks. But she put some of that shit in there. And I couldn't wait long enough for it to freeze, I don't reckon, but I did. She froze them little blocks of shit and brought me one out there, boy, I thought I was in seven heavens. A damn froze popsicle, man, never seen one. But then Mommy and Daddy got one. Don't know how they did, but they did. Of course, it wasn't new, it was used. 
everything I've ever had been used by God or wore out one. I ain't never owned nothing new in my life. All I've ever had was second-handed. <laughs>